The teams are in the tunnel, ready to come out. I'm delighted to welcome Tony Cotty, who's played in two League Cup finals to our commentary position. Tony, first of all, what a terrific atmosphere it is here at Cardiff. It's a fantastic atmosphere, Gary. It's only the second time I've actually been to the stadium. I came here last year and saw my team West Ham play, but it's a fantastic atmosphere. Wonderful support for both teams, both for Chelsea and for Liverpool. They've relayed the pitch as well, it's looking good, so I can't wait. I think it's going to be an excellent match. John Terry is ready and set to lead out his teammates. Carlo Cudicini, what's going through his mind? Sent off last week at Newcastle in the FA Cup, and he stayed on the pitch, he'd be playing today. It's always a tragedy for players when that sort of thing happens. But it did happen, and they've got to get on with it. I think he's going to lead out Chelsea, actually, the way it's looking. Very nice touch indeed if Carlo Cudicini is part of today's celebrations. Well, it wouldn't surprise me, he's like that type of manager, Jose Mourinho. I'm sure the players would want to honour him as well. He's been a, a vital part of this role that, that he's played to get Chelsea to the final. Jose Mourinho, the manager of Chelsea. Rafa Benitez, the manager of Liverpool there. The two men who carved up European football last season. When Mourinho led Porto to the Champions League. And Rafa Benitez led Valencia to the UEFA Cup. There's going to be a huge roar shortly as Jose Mourinho appears at the head of the tunnel. But it does look like Carlo Cudicini will lead out Chelsea for the 2005 Carling Cup final. Jose Mourinho just heads to the dugout and here come the two sides, two of the big heavyweights of English football. Chelsea, who lead the Premiership against Liverpool as the fireworks ignite on the pitch here at Cardiff. And what a reception awaits the two teams. Can Chelsea and Liverpool light up Cardiff? Jetsy Dudek is ready, so is Damien Duff. And Paolo Ferreira and Yari Yiddishek. The Chelsea team have taken the Premiership by storm over the last six months or so. They said Chelsea were invincible, not quite so. Beaten in their last two games, both cup matches. Beaten at Newcastle last week in the FA Cup and by Barcelona in midweek in a Champions League tie. It'll be very interesting to see how Chelsea respond to those two defeats. But as a footballer, you've got to put it out of your mind, you've got to forget all about it, get on with the next match, and that's what they'll be looking to Ladies do today. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams will now be presented to today's chief guests. Seth Blatter is the guest of honour here. Alongside him, Sir Brian Norwini, the chairman of the Football League. So Brian Mulwini shakes the hand of John Terry and introduces him to Seth Blatter, the FIFA president. FIFA are in town, of course, discussing possible rule changes this weekend alongside these two gentlemen, Mark Hunter, the marketing and international development manager of Coors Brewers. Tom Gillanders, a member of the public who won a competition to be here. And the noise around this Millennium Stadium, absolutely deafening. The roof is closed, and that just seems to heighten the atmosphere and tension, because all the volume emitting from the two sets of supporters stays inside this immense ball. Steve Bennett is our match official taking charge of the Carling Cup final today, the second year it's been known as the Carling Cup. Chelsea have a proud tradition in so far as this season, they've taken the competition very seriously and put out very strong teams. Not so Liverpool on every occasion. No, not so Liverpool, but I think it's always good when teams do that because it is an important competition and you can qualify for Europe as well. So it is important that the big teams take it seriously. And it's nice today to have two of the big teams in English football playing in this final. Harry Kuehl, who's flown his mother and father over from Sydney to be here today. Didi Herman, who must have thought his chance of playing in another major final with Liverpool had gone. Not so. Rafa Benitez hands him a midfield spot for today's game. National anthem 
will be sung by the well soprano Catherine Jenkins Ladies in front of a sellout crowd here at Cardiff of 74,000 spectators. For the national anthem, the national anthem this afternoon is sung for us by Catherine Jenkins. So here the national anthem. <laughs> sense of determination amongst this Liverpool team who are appearing today in a record 10th League Cup final. And they won the trophy four times in a row from 1981 to 84 when Liverpool had that great side. As we check now on the two lineups, starting with Chelsea. Chelsea make one change from their last game, a Champions League defeat against Barcelona. Yeri Yerishik, their Czech Republic international, comes into the team on the right of midfield. And it's a straight swap for the Portuguese international, Thiago, who drops to the bench. William Gallas has recovered from a damaged groin to play today. Didier Drogba, sent off against Barcelona, leads the attack in preference to Ida Gudjans. It's a 4-3-3 system for Chelsea today, and it's the formation that they've used to great effect so far this season. They do play a flat back four, but it's marshalled superbly by their captain, John Terry. Claude McAlaley in midfield, he's the important one because he needs to hold in front of them. In front of him, Jarosic and Lampard, Joe Cole and Duff, and Didier Drog Drogba will play up front on his own, and he's a real handful. Liverpool welcome back Fernando Morientes and Steven Gerrard to their team. Both missed the Champions League win against Bayer Leverkusen in midweek. Liverpool have managed to accommodate three left-sided players, Traore, Risa and Kuhl. Kuhl will play just behind Fernando Morientes. Milan Barros as substitute, and Liverpool's last appearance in a League Cup final is sub again. Liverpool will play a 4-4-1-1 system today, and it's a system designed to bring the best out of Harry Kuehl. It is an experienced back four, and in the midfield, they've got to get the ball to Steven Gerrard. He'll make things happen. Kuehl will play just behind Fernando Morientes. He'll be up front on his own, but he's a well-established international and an excellent finisher. So, Tony, who are going to be the uh, big characters to settle the 2005 Carling Cup final? Well, I think the two main characters for me will be Steven Gerrard. He's a wonderful, wonderful player. You've got to get him on the ball, though. That's the main thing. If you get Steven Gerrard on the ball, he's the one who makes things happen for Liverpool, and he will totally dictate the play. I think it's worth uh, pointing out that Steven Gerrard almost joined Chelsea in the summer, and he could still be joining Chelsea next summer. Well, I think he still might join Chelsea next summer. Uh, the key thing really for Liverpool is to be in the Champions League for next season. They win today, it's just the UEFA Cup. So who would you pick out on the Chelsea side? Well, I'll go for that man, Frank Lampard. He's been outstanding for Chelsea this season, not quite as good at Barcelona in the week, but he'll play well today. Frank Lampard, who hasn't won a major honour in domestic football in England, is today the day. We're ready and set. The 2005 Carling Cup final is underway. It's Chelsea in blue against Liverpool in red. Liverpool's last defeat in a League Cup final was all the way back in 1987 when they lost to Arsenal. Chelsea have never beaten Liverpool when the two teams have met in the League Cup. I wonder if that will be an omen today. Didier Drogba so much rests on his shoulders as he front lone striker, three up front for Chelsea today, two wide players, but Drogba playing down the middle, Luis Garcia, Harry Kuehl, this breaks to Morientes, Morientes with a deep cross, it's a good one, Risa, oh, unbelievable, it's a goal inside the first minute of the game, 
That must be one of the quickest ever goals in a League Cup final. Well, there's no question about it being the quickest goal. But Chelsea just didn't pick him up, Risa. He was waiting for a long, long time. You can see him at the top of the picture. He's totally unmarked. They just don't see him, Chelsea. He's waiting. He gets disappointed when it doesn't come the first time. But when it comes to Morientes, what about this for a ball? Doesn't need to look, just fires it in. The finish is absolutely top class. John Arnarisa. We've seen him score many spectacular goals. He won't have got many better than that. It is absolutely world class finishing. What a great angle there. Brilliant finish from Risa. Fantastic technique. Peter Cech's got no chance. Oh, we've got a football match now, all right. Well, of course, a Chelsea player scored the fastest ever goal in an FA Cup final. That must be one of the fastest conceded in the history of this competition. I think it's probably the best thing for the game. Cup finals are normally tense, normally defensive, but now we've got the early goal, which should make for a cracking final with two good teams. Jose Mourinho, I wonder what he thinks of this incredible start to the League Cup one. Drop buzz after this one. All headed clear by Carragher, picked up by Lampard. Chelsea wearing big white numbers on their backs for this game. Here's Yerashik, the Czech Republic international. Gallus, Lampard, Terry, headed clear by Finnan, picked up by Harry Kuehl. I wonder if Liverpool are going to change their tactics after scoring that early goal and perhaps go into slightly more defensive mode. Luis Garcia, that's a fabulous ball out here to Risa. Risa taking on the right back, Paolo Ferreira. You've played in enough games, Tony. What does it do to concede a goal as early as that? Well, I'm just thinking that. It'll be very, very interesting. I think we'll find out just how good this Chelsea team is today. After losing the last two games, we've had such a great season. Going to go down in, what, the first minute of the final. We really will find out just how good they are. But they won't panic, that's for sure. Mourinho, the manager, won't panic. The Chelsea players won't panic. They'll just carry on believing themselves. I've got, a, I've got a statistic for you here. Liverpool are yet to lose when Jan Arna Risa scores a goal. He's been at the club for a few years as well, hasn't he? Sammy Huppier should get there first. In fact, Drogba did instead. Duff calling for the ball. Chelsea have only conceded eight goals in the Premiership this season. Let in two in midweek at Barcelona, one last week against Newcastle, and now one here against Liverpool in the opening 60 seconds. It's beyond the wildest dreams of Rafa Benitez. Opia. Risa. Morientes. Free kick to Liverpool. He looks pretty calm, doesn't he, Tony? Well, he doesn't change, does he? It's so important for him to remain calm. Get his instructions, of course, make a few notes. He just wants his team to continue playing. John Terry should get there first for Chelsea. Gerard, Kuehl. Finnan, back to Kuehl once again. Chelsea have won it back, Lampard, that's a great ball on towards Drogba. Drogba takes on Sami Huppier. Corner to Chelsea. It's down at the end where the Liverpool fans are watching the game. 
Great tackle, wasn't it, from Sammy Hoopia. Needed to be as well. Drogba would have been away. Ben Yendaf to bend his left boot around the ball. Lampard, Lampard waits virtually uh, inside the six-yard box. Terry couldn't get there. Jutsi Dudek urges Liverpool to push out. Picked up by McAlealy, and here's Duff. Gallas, makeshift left back. And, uh, Wayne Bridge, broken ankle. Last week's game at Newcastle, he surely would have played today. Gallas, back to Petr Cech. He hasn't touched the ball yet, apart from picking it out of his goal. Didi Hamad, wide to Jan Onorisa. Certainly where the space is out on that left wing for Liverpool. It's where the goal came from, John Onorisa. Need to try and get in the ball as much as possible. And try and take on Paulo Ferreira, the Chelsea right back. Luis Garcia hoisted into the penalty area, but an easy take for Petr Cech. Rather surprisingly, Tony, Harry Kuehl is operating on the right-hand side of midfield. It is a surprise, but Garcia did start out there. I think he's just covering for Garcia while he went on the forward run there. But they will interchange. That's exactly what Kuehl and Garcia like to do. If you've joined us slightly late, where were you? You missed a goal. Liverpool have the lead, courtesy of the man who heads it off there, Jan Anarisa, in the opening 45 seconds of the match. Risa well-timed challenge indeed. Drogba touched off to Lampard. This is more like it by Chelsea. Frank Lampard picks up Joe Cole. Paulo Ferreira. Paulo Ferreira to take the throw in here for Chelsea. Received a real slap in the face from Liverpool early on in the Carling Cup final. Joe Cole, his only honour in the game so far, an FA Youth Cup winner's medal back in 1999, but he's won a free kick here, and that challenge by Jimmy Traore. Times he challenged on anything from Traore, good play from Joe Cole. Can Chelsea make a quick response to that Liverpool goal? Daff and Frank Lampard stand over the ball. Yarashik has gone forward. This is Terry. There's a handball, surely, there, I think, by Paolo Ferreira. The referee spotted it. I think it was Ricardo Cavallo who just uh, flapped his hand towards the ball. It wasn't the best freak in the world. Come off Risa, but it's Cavallo who puts his arm up. Just as Troyer is trying to head the ball clear. Good spot from ref Steve Bennett. Ricardo Carvalho, who was rested for most of this season's Carling Cup campaign, but jettisoned into the team for the final. Jetsy Dudek with a clearance. Morientes flicks it on. Kuehl. Gerard, Luis Garcia and Gerard, and Liverpool look very lively early on here. Damien Duff, who has won here in the League Cup before. Lewis Garcia, all very new to him, of course, his first season at Anfield. Yerushik, Morientes, Lewis Garcia, Kuehl. Certainly Liverpool have been the quicker to settle. But I have, surprisingly as well. You would have thought that Liverpool would sit back and let Chelsea come at them almost the other way round. When they have got the ball, Liverpool, they broke very quickly. They've been very positive. Lovely little one-twos as well. And that of is what brought them that early goal. Ferreira looking for Cole. It's cut out by Sammy Hooky. It's almost as if the real cup final has started now because now it's tight and very little time and space in midfield. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's what the early goal's done, hasn't it? It is a great start to the final, but they are two very evenly matched sides, I think, on their day. I know Chelsea have had a slightly better season, but Liverpool are a good team. 
It will be interesting to see how the match now develops. Great tackle by Gerard, and her man breaks forward here for Liverpool. Luis Garcia, Gerard, his first touch was disappointing, and Makaleli then smacks the ball against a Liverpool player. And it all happens just a bit too quickly for John Arno Risa. Shame, first touch just letting down a little bit there, Steven Gerrard. Crunching tackle with Frank Lampard. That's what the fans like to see. And they really are two shoe ins to any England team picked by Sven Jura Eriksson, Gerrard, and Lampard. And they play on either side today. They've both really improved their game over the last couple of seasons. Both outstanding, still young players. And as you say, quite rightly, integral part of the England setup. Luis Garcia, Kiel. Sees Jamie Carragher now playing in his favourite position of central defence. Yeri Yabashik, a surprise inclusion in the Chelsea team today. Ahead of Thiago, the Portuguese international. Lampard. Gerard, Traore, Luis Garcia. Not break here to Jimmy Traore. Yerushik, Drogba, what a turn by Drogba. And he was caught there by Sammy Huppia. And he seemed to go down slightly late, and the referee's already got his yellow card out here. And I presume for Sammy Huppia. I think he definitely caught him. I thought it was a foul. Certainly the first yellow card of the match. Great skill from Drogba. A little flip with the right foot. He's past Hoopia. Catches him with his right foot. Caught Drogba on his calf. Sammy Hoopia gets the yellow card then. He has kept him Liverpool to success here in the League Cup. It's Stephen Gerrard, who's the current Liverpool captain. A rather mistake there by Paolo Ferreira, just took his eye off the ball. Traore to take the throw. Lisa. And Park. Out by Sammy Huppia, but given away cheaply to Lampard. Terry. Yes, for the ball on the near side, it really was a difficult pass to Duff and Kewell's away with it here. Luis Garcia, Liverpool certainly passing the ball quicker than Chelsea at the moment. It's Finnan. Gerard. Visa. And that ball by Ricardo Carvalho. On the way to Risa. Ebb and flow about this football match so far as Grogba chases this long, hopeful ball forward and it's intercepted by Sammy Hoopia. Been an interesting battle now, wasn't it? Grogba and Hoopia. Hoopia now on the yellow card, he's got to be careful. Joker. Lampard. The ball wide here to Paolo Ferreira. Oh! Yerushik. Lampard. I think the Liverpool fans are taunting their Chelsea counterparts by suggesting they're going to win very little this season. <laughs> Or worse to that effect. I'm sure they will, something or other. They just need to up their, uh, their performance a little bit, I feel, so far. They're a little bit tired from their midweek games. It's a long trip to Newcastle, long trip to Barcelona. They have certainly started a little bit sluggish in his first, what, 15, 20 minutes. And of course, Chelsea have had players sent off in their last two games. Grogba against Barcelona. And last week, Carlo Cudicini. And this is today's final through suspension. Lampard. Jamie Carragher with the uh, inelegant clearance, but it worked nonetheless. Go, go, go. 
Lampard, he turned by him. Yerishik just ahead of him. Lampard headed in towards Duff, but the pass was short. And Steve Finn and the Republic of Ireland international doing really well. Liverpool really are playing with a modicum of confidence in this cup final. Last time I saw them play was at Birmingham a couple of weeks ago, and they were awful. It was a poor performance at Birmingham. Certainly playing with that confidence. Key word in football, Gary. You mentioned it, confidence. We've got that in abundance at the moment. Ricardo Carvalho. That's had his Portuguese international colleague Paulo Ferrer. The man. Yarishik. Yarishik now turning for Chelsea. Chance to get away from Hupia. Jeremy. And Liverpool making it really difficult for Chelsea to try and impose themselves on this game. Tackling from Liverpool in midfield has been really, really sharp in this opening 17 minute period. So Terry and Carvalho nudge forward here. Terry scored some important goals and set pieces for Chelsea this season. It's a poor delivery. Headed clear by Morientes. It was a poor ball from Ferreira. Very deep Liverpool. Jersey Dudek wasn't happy. Santos defence push up. It doesn't matter if the free kicks that ball from Ferreira. Dallas with the throw. Terry. It's Liverpool voices you can hear at the moment. Celebrating the fact that they lead by goal to nil in the Carling Cup final. Harry Kuhl. Kuhl with a cross trying to pick out Risa. Might come down to Luis Garcia. But here's Frank Lampard to initiate a Chelsea attack. Caught by Morientes. Free kick to Chelsea. There's only a slight clip. It was enough to put Frank Lampard off his pass. Morientes made his debut in that Coca-Cola Cup semi-final second leg when Liverpool booked their place here. Gerard, the man. Dennis, McAlevey. Gerard. Neither of these two teams can return here in the FA Cup this season. Both have been eliminated. Liverpool in the third round by Burnley. Chelsea last weekend by Newcastle United. So this is the Cup final for both these teams this season. And of course, whoever wins today's final automatically gains a European spot. I suppose most of the Premiership will be hoping that... Uh, Chelsea actually win today because it would free up another place in the Premiership for you, the UEFA Cup for next season. Risa giving chase here, but Ricardo Carvalho with a covering job. You can see how hard he's blowing. It really is hard work keeping up with Liverpool in this opening period. It's good covering from Carvalho, but I think the referee's pulled the play back. Just got a fence there, and pulled it back to the halfway line. kick to Liverpool which Jimmy Traore will take uh, who scored an own goal against Burnley in that FA Cup tie it's an ambitious ball Luis Garcia rattles it across the penalty area it's taken by Petr Cech don't know to get the cross in Garcia these guys would have given it up not him Carragher Nicolini in the last few minutes the uh, pattern of the game emerging Chelsea are going to see a lot of the ball from now on Liverpool are just sitting back slightly inviting Chelsea to come at them but Liverpool have this one goal advantage 
And it's Terry bursting forward here for Chelsea. He certainly felt he was uh, fouled, and indeed he's won the kick. I think he was fouled. And Steven Gerrard, who was tracking back. The referee's given the free kick. Good break out from John Terry. There's Stevie Gerrard just coming into the picture. Just pulls John Terry to the ground. Tony, is it a wise tactic here to try keep Chelsea at arm's length? Well, I think it suits Liverpool to a certain degree. I think over the last two, three, four seasons, we've seen them be quite defensive and look to break very quickly on the counter-attack. But this is against a very good Chelsea team, and eventually they will grind and break you down. So I think it's a dangerous tactic for Liverpool to play. They need to try and push out, and if they can, try and get forward, because they look very threatening when they've got forward Liverpool. One Sunday newspaper suggested that Chelsea could defend a 1-0 lead. Liverpool couldn't. We shall see, though. Liverpool have got it. at the midway point of the first half. Liverpool lead 1-0. Free kick to Chelsea. Lampard. Safe handling by Jerzy Dudek. He let one bounce off his shoulder in midweek against Bayer Leverkusen. He wasn't going to make the same mistake again. Straight at him. Slight deflection off Stevie Gerrard. All he'd done was took it to him. McAlini. Dudek looking to repay the faith that uh, Rafa Benitez has shown in him by sticking with the Liverpool goalkeeper. The other option would be to throw the untried Scott Carson into the cup final with Chris Kirkland currently sidelined with a back injury. Yereshik. Visa. Yereshik. A joke hole here for Chelsea. And Lampard. Cole! Great block there by Jamie Carragher. Had it to be an important piece of defending. And Liverpool can break here with Stevie Gerrard. Touched off here to finish. Gerrard. Luis Garcia. Lampard trying to kickstart Chelsea. Lampard. Ferreira. Joe Cole. Yerushik dispossessed by Deep Mahaman. Have a play by Morientes. He got on the wrong side there of Ricardo Cavalla. And any attempted tackle was bound to result in a free kick. It's just a tackle from behind. Can't do that in English football anymore, even though he may have got a bit of the ball. It was a free kick. Fernando Morientes, the last time he came up against Chelsea. In an important game like this, he scored in both legs of a Champions League semi-final last season for Monaco. And Chelsea were eliminated from the competition. He was looking forward to playing against John Terry again. I think he was. He had a good start to the match as well. It's always difficult playing up front on your own. He's such a good player, he can do that comfortably. Duff. Carvalho. Benena. John Cole. And the tackling at Liverpool has been crisp and confident. Rogba. Rogba's picked up an injury in that last uh, Chelsea attack. I think he's hurt his hand. Finnan. Gerard. Luis Garcia. Deep Mahomet. Liverpool have had the ball inside Chelsea territory for long periods of the match. And Finnan. Luis Garcia dancing on the ball. And 
pushed off the ball rather brutally there by Makaleli. Rogba takes on Kerrigan. That's a great tackle by Semi Hupia. And then Lampard fell into Luis Garcia. And it's going to be another yellow card. Frank said it's my first tackle, but it's that tackle from behind again. I mentioned it a second ago, you just cannot take the player from behind anymore. Good ball into Garcia. I don't think he was trying to take the player, Frank Lampard, but he did catch Garcia, and that's why he got the yellow card. They don't seem happy, Chelsea, do they? Well, they don't, they just haven't settled. I don't know whether they're a little bit tired, a little bit lethargic. They haven't settled down and they're not playing the free-flowing football that you associate with them. And after that disappointment last week, turning against Newcastle and the midweek defeat, against Barcelona and a huge match coming up in the return against Barcelona they need a good performance today but they do that's right and not only that Manchester United closed the game in the Premiership as well so it's all closing in on Chelsea at the moment I don't think they can afford to lose this final today what mental effect that would have on them I don't know Finnan with a free kick no foul, no penalty, although Steven Gerrard was looking inquisitively towards the referee. Certainly a clash between the two players. It's Makaleli, isn't it, with Gerrard? He gets his body there. Same penalty's given for worse than that. I think this is a very good shout by Steven Gerrard. Yeah, he's all over him, but they do seem to clash the two players. Not too many complaints from Steven Gerrard either. Yerushik. Cole, here's Drogba, first chance for Chelsea! Oh, they went pretty close, but not close enough. A good chance for Drogba, but I think this is a good save from Jersey Dudek. Lovely through ball from Joe Cole when it comes to him, doesn't think about it, straight through. There's Drogba, it's a good save from Dudek. Chelsea just beginning to show now in the Carling Cup final. Duff to take the corner kick. Headed on by Lampard and virtually off the goal line by Luis Garcia, but there was no great power in the header. Picked up though by Paulo Ferreira. Duff. Liverpool have won it back though through Harry Kuehl. Garcia got that ball virtually off his goal line here. It was cleared off the line, but Lampard's header wasn't going in. And unfortunately for Chelsea, there was no one there to tap at him. Kill. Issues with Gannis. It's a free kick to Liverpool. And they had nearly half an hour of the 2005 Carling Cup final. Advantage Liverpool. Luis Garcia picks out Harry Kuehl. Gallus, Frenchman, through towards Rogba. And by Carragher. And a superb season for Liverpool. Jamie Carragher has been outstanding in the centre of defence this year. I recall Carragher was highly critical of referee Mike Wiley after the New Year's Day game against Chelsea. Referee seemed to miss a handling offence by Thiago. Chelsea won that game by goal to nil. Paul scored the winner, as he did at Stamford Bridge. And the two sides met earlier this season. Here is Joe Cole. Helps it through here towards Duff. Pulls it back. And it was aimed in towards Lampard, but the Handball wasn't quite right. Gallus. Ricardo Carvalho. So Chelsea seeing a lot of the football at the moment. But the most important statistic is the scoreline, which reads Chelsea nil, Liverpool 1.
Liverpool has been penalised for that rough handling of William Gallus, the left back of Chelsea. He was injured against Newcastle last week and has uh, done well to regain his fitness to play not only in the Champions League in midweek but also this match. Lampard with a free kick. Well, I think uh, Duff thought he was going to take it. Lampard drives it in. Jertsy Dudek with a very good catch indeed. Comfortable side for Dudek. Man of the match here. Liverpool beat Manchester United in the 2003 League Cup final. Chelsea have stepped up a bit. I said they needed to. A couple of half chances. Talking about that cross from Damien Duff there. Didn't pick out one of his players. But what they are doing, they're trying to get Duff and Joe Cole more on the ball. If they can do that, they will create more chances. I think it's worth pointing out that uh, Chelsea are without. Ian Rodden, who's broken a bone in his foot, and uh, he certainly made Chelsea tick when he was playing for them this season. Gannis, Lampard. Lampard, it's Duff, in towards Drogba, away by Jimmy Troyore. Risa with an acrobatic clearance and he's landed awkwardly is Jan Arna Risa. Carvaya. Chelsea haven't done yet, but Liverpool are forcing them back into their own half of the field. Lampard. Jaroszczyk. Luis Garcia. Morientes. Yanishik. Just getting a bit too deep to my liking, Liverpool, when they've dropped off. They're under pressure from Chelsea, I understand that. De defending superbly well at the moment. Whether they can do it for 90 minutes and protect this league remains to be seen. Amazingly, Kudicini's hardly seen the ball. Here's Drogba, Cole. Great play by Gerard. Duff, Joe Cole. That's going to be easy for Jutsi Dudek. Not to beat Dudek from that distance. Probably slightly worried, Mourinho. Doesn't show too much emotion. It's a little bit of a scowl there, I think. Just a little bit. Lampard, that's a great ball. Yerishik now for Chelsea. Trying to beat uh, Dudek from about 30 yards. It's broke to Luis Garcia. <laughs> Referee's already reaching for his pocket here. There's going to be another yellow card, I fear. Jimmy Troyore follows Sammy Hoopier and Frank Lampard into the referee's notebook. I think he's got it right again, Steve Bennett. Ferreira breaking down the right. There's a lunge from Traore. Just need a better delivery. It's the free kicks. It's not been good so far, Chelsea. About ten minutes to go to half time. Liverpool lead 1-0. A balloon free kick from Lampard. Ricardo Carvalho. Cole. Towards Terry, who'd stay forward, it might break to Duff. Again, an excellent tackle by Jan Armarisa. He wanted to hit first time, I think Damien Duff just wouldn't settle for him, but it was good defending from Risa. Morientes. Morientes has got rather maroon from his midfield in this opening half hour, but that's the way Liverpool are playing this cup final. Yerishik skips away from Haman, but Liverpool will have nine players behind the ball. Only Luis Garcia and Morientes have stayed forward.
Here's the goal scorer, Lisa. Kuehl, fit into his right. Morientes waits in the middle, Luis Garcia adjusts his Alice band and is ready to try and get on the end of this cross. Disappointing in the end from Liverpool. A lot of space down his right-hand side for Kuehl and Finnan. Just didn't make the most of it. Well, the roof is firmly closed, and so too is the Liverpool defence. Chelsea have come a-knocking. No joy yet for Jose Mourinho's side. Benitez has watched his Liverpool team soak up an awful lot of pressure after taking that early lead. on the bench, like uh, Ada Good Jonsson and Matea Keshman. Might well need them in the second half. Still not happening for Chelsea. Some good spells of possession, not really created too many chances to get back into the match. Well, as far as I'm uh, aware, Jutsi Dudek has only produced one save so far, Tony, in this match. Just that one from Drogba, wasn't it? Good save as well. That's not enough to get you the goal, to get you back into the match. They've got to create a little bit more, and we expect more from Chelsea. Gerard. The referee's assistant on the near side had his flag raised very quickly indeed. Robientes might have been offside, it might have been a foul. Gallas, chased by Kuehl, getting strong in the tackle here for Liverpool. Gerard, Morientes, Morientes for Liverpool, snaps the ball against the path there of Paolo Ferreira. It was unlucky, Morientes, certainly opened up for him. Unfortunately, he didn't see Garcia, who pulled away to the far post. Good play for Morientes, though. And Arna Risa has scored the only goal so far of the League Cup final at Cardiff's Millennium Stadium. Jimmy Traore. Luis Garcia. Not too convincing clearance by John Terry, but picked up by Joe Cole. And here's Lampard. And Duffy's onside. Rogba waits in the middle. Cole arriving as well. I've lost count to the amount of times I've said, what a great tackle. Did some excellent defending from Liverpool. Not sure what Damon Duff was doing. He was signalling as the ball's in the air, whether he couldn't see it or not with the lights, I don't know. But that gave the chance for Traore to get back and tackle him. Paolo Ferreira to take the throw. Yerashik. Paolo Ferreira, Joe Cole, Duff. Well, Liverpool were looking for offside then, and there was no flag. Steven Gerrard is uh, making his feelings plain towards the referee's assistant. I thought Chelsea were offside here. Losing sense, but he wasn't. It's a good call. It's Triori who's playing him on at the top of the picture. Lovely little ball from Joe Cole. Absolutely right, Tony. Duff with a corner for Chelsea. Yadashik is in there, Jutsi Dudek is destined to have a big, big game for Liverpool today. It's almost as if he's determined to eradicate that error at Anfield against Bayer Leverkusen. He's got a point to prove, hasn't he, Dudek? He was at fault for that goal. He might prove costly in the long run.
Spin and doing well. Very well. Bit of a lunge there by Ricardo Cavalla. Ricardo Cavallo, a central defender. Champions League winner last season, of course, with Porto under Jose Mourinho. Finnan and his kill. Gerard did well in that challenge with Cole, a little bit too well. And now Kuhl and uh, Mekeleni getting involved in a bit of nonsense. And the Australian being ushered away, and the referee didn't like that one a little bit. And he's telling Mekeleni just to calm down. Not a pushing, pushing and shoving about nothing, I think. It was a foul by Steven Gerrard in the first place. The players just reacted a little bit. Harry Kuhl, who has had long-standing Achilles tendon and groin injuries, which have kept him sidelined for the last couple of months. Drogba did well to flick that one onto Duff. No foul by Jimmy Chayore. Duff is none too pleased. Looked a foul to me. being squeezed into that Liverpool half of the field. And Liverpool have had a very good game defensively in this first half. They really have offered marvellous protection to Jutsu Dudek's goal. Pupia. Risa. Luis Garcia. There's two Chelsea players for company. Luis Garcia has been penalised, Duff still unhappy with the referee's assistant because of this. Was it a foul? I thought it was. I think he clips him. Should have been a free kick. Lampard. Dennis gives away the free kick. Just to remind you that the League Cup final has to be presented today. And that means we'll have extra time and possibly even penalties if the scores are level after 90 minutes. Or level after extra time. Carragher. Risa. Away by Terry. Picked up here by Jimmy Traore. Will be too much stoppage time at the end of this first half. Risa, Liverpool started this half sensationally, and they ended in similar vein. Yereshik, Lampa, Joe Cole, steps inside Finnan, Gerard Gunn in the way. Luis Garcia. <laughs> Duff being booed by the Liverpool fans. That's Cross looking for Cole. Gallus, Lampard will be two minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first half. Duff. Easy for Jutsi to do that. Pretty much sums up the first half, I think. Lots of possession for Chelsea. Just that final ball letting them down. And when they have got in good positions, the cross is too near the goalkeeper. Morientes, a little bit of a break on here for Liverpool. It's Risa. Luis Garcia is forward and Morientes is forward as well. Any clear by Terry. Any as far as Luis Garcia. And Ricardo Cavallo lets the ball to save. Lampard, so one last attack here by Chelsea before we hear the half-time whistle. Yerishik, Lampard. <laughs> Mac 
Shakalili. Yerushik. Cole. Chelsea just can't find that final ball in at the moment. Here it comes. Cleared by Sammy Huppia. And then by John Arnavisa. To head for half time, Tony. Can you see Chelsea changing things round in the second half? Um, well, I can see them changing things round, and I think Mourinho might well make some changes at half time as well. I'm not sure that Yarisic's had that good a game. He's got plenty of options. He might want to put two front men up there. You mentioned it, Good Johnson and Kesman. He's got other options as well. He might need to change it because as, as much as the, they've had the possession, Chelsea haven't really created too many chances, and they've got to do that in this second half to get back into the match. Of course, Jose Mourinho made a triple substitution at half time a week ago at Newcastle. And later regretted it. Rafa Benitez, I think, will be pretty satisfied with the way things panning out. How long's left? Well, the answer is about just a couple of seconds. And as soon as this uh, throw-in is taken, I'm sure the referee will blow the half-time whistle. Advantage Liverpool at the break. John Arnaresa's stunning goal in the opening 60 seconds separates the two teams. Will Jose Mourinho make changes at the break? All the answers coming up after half-time. But the half-time score from Cardiff's Millennium Stadium in the 2005 Carling Cup final is Chelsea nil, Liverpool 1. Reintroducing Chelsea Football Club. restarts in 10 seconds Ida good Johnson will come on for Chelsea at half time in the Charlie Cup final replacing Yeri Yaroshek the change Chelsea have made at the break and Tony Cotty who sits alongside me in the commentary position that was an expected change as far as you were concerned. Well, I mentioned to you at half-time, Gary, that's what I felt Chelsea would do. I think they will now go 4-4-2. They will certainly push Good Johnson up alongside Drogba. Duff will play left, Joe Cole right, and they've got to try and create a few more chances in this second half. For the second successive year in the League Cup final, the record has been broken for the quickest goal in the competition in the final stages. Last year, Joseph Desiree Job scored after a minute and a half. This year... John Arnavisa scored after 44 seconds. It's Liverpool who restart the game, a goal up at half-time in the League Cup final. Liverpool, not surprisingly, unchanged from the first half. Here's Jamie Carrigan. Chelsea only conceded two goals en route to the final. Conceded that very early goal here against Liverpool. Paolo Ferreira to take the throw. Joe Cole turning away from Jimmy Traore. Sammy Huppier has already received a yellow card. What's the referee going to do here? It will be a yellow card for Joe Cole for diving. I'm not sure he's going to consult the assistant referee. I think he might well give a yellow card to Joe Cole. Free kick to Chelsea, but no word of admonishment there for Sammy Huppier. No. He was going to book Joe Cole, I felt, for diving. Was there contact from Sammy Hoopier? Goes past, he takes his leg away. I think it should have been a yellow card for Joe Cole. Another wasteful chance. Damien Duff able to 
if Chelsea an ideal start to the second half. Well, Sammy Hoopier saying to Steve Bennett there, I didn't touch him, why didn't you give him a yellow card? Still arguing about that. Up here with the header. Paolo Ferreira in towards Duff, who helps it on towards Drogba. Here's Drogba for Chelsea. Trying to turn Jamie Carragher, easier said than done, and Harry Kuehl is there. That's a fine ball to Jan Arnarisa. Joe Kuehl. Chelsea fans are getting behind their team now. Hoppia has collided with Joe Cole. And it's going to be a corner kick. I wasn't sure if it was a corner kick, it's more a foul to me. It was very quiet the Chelsea fans in the first half. Put noise here at the start of this second half. Corner to Chelsea. Damien Duff to take it. All the big guns have gone forward here for Chelsea. Jetsy Dudek fists the ball away. Picked up by uh, Heidegger Janssen, and there's a, I think a foul on the goalkeeper, and Didier Drogba, who kicked to Liverpool. Well, saw a foul from Didier Drogba. Good punch from Dudek, though, he didn't know it was a foul. Somebody has just nudged the volume control up here as both sets of supporters get behind their team. Risa. The important thing here for Chelsea is not to concede again early on in the second half against Liverpool. If they can find an early goal in this second period, the impetus just might be with the uh, Chelsea team. Liverpool are about to make a change here. Looks like Antonio Nunez is coming on. I can only believe it's a tactical change. If there have been any injuries, he would have made the changes at half time. Must be tactical to see what he does. Bizarre time to make a substitution so early in the second half. Certainly the game has swung towards Chelsea in these opening few minutes of the second period. Looks exactly what I expected, especially with the Johnson coming on. Shows Chelsea's intentions. Try and get some more bodies forward and create those chances. Good Johnson. In towards Lampard, Joe Cole for Chelsea. Great block, Cole might have another chance. Liverpool just crowding him out. John Terry won that ball. Liverpool looking for a bit of a ticking off there, and certainly Jose Mourinho is spitting his angry words out at Jamie Carragher. Chelsea are rattled. I'm not sure if he was talking in Portuguese or English there. I don't think he was actually too happy. A bit of a character, it's Carragher, isn't he? He's pointing at you can see he's not happy with Jamie Carragher at all. Jose Mourinho got in hot water in midweek in Barcelona in that well publicised spat with Frank Rijkaard, the Barcelona coach. I think he wants a bit of passion from his team. He does. And we got it from John Terry there. Crunching tackle it was. <laughs> Morientes. Gerard. Duff given license to run at that ball, heavy clear by Traore. Deep Mahaman. Chelsea are just beginning to squeeze Liverpool in a way they just couldn't do in the first half. Almost like climbing up a slippery pole, they just couldn't find a way to the top. They've got some steady footsteps now with Good Johnson on and Paolo Ferreira drives it forward. Liverpool are about to make this substitution. They're not quite ready yet. Ricardo Carvalho. 
Only as far as Kuhl, who heads it inaccurately down to Morientes, and picked up by Terry, and here's Lampard. Carragher steams out of defence here. Still Jamie Carragher. Going to Liverpool. Great play from Jamie Carragher. Must have run fully 60 yards with the ball. Just give his team a little bit of breathing space. Been under pressure at the start of his second half. Then keep the ball in Chelsea's half a little bit. Liverpool have held off making the substitution. Rafa Benitez is giving plenty of instructions here. Lovely turn by Harry Kuhl. Just uh, slightly over hit the cross. Substitution now, Barry Nunes is putting his top back on. Swept up, and then they're going to hang fire for a little while. Keep warming up, he's told him. Luis Garcia just left the ball behind. Obviously, uh, Rafa Benitez saw something in the opening few minutes of the half, and maybe he was less convinced the longer the second half went on. Sold this morning to a player saying he's coming on in a cup final and then saying to a gentleman. I've not been in that position myself. It's always frustrating as a substitute though. Drogba cleared to handle the ball, cleared by John Arnavisa. Last weekend, Chelsea's FA Cup hopes evaporated. Their Champions League hopes took a dent in midweek. Chances of winning their first trophy of the season are under threat here. But they press, and it's Paolo Ferreira. Ferreira's cross, Jesse Dudek stayed on his line, headed clear by Finnan and then Risa. Morientes, Liverpool finding it difficult to break out of their own half of the field at the moment. That's the problem, they're just defending too deep. Morientes up on his own. It does go up to him, it's just coming back straight away. And he can't keep hold of it, there's no support arriving. It's a real defensive job at the moment for Liverpool. He's yeah. still got an awful long while to go, sorry, go. Nunez has been pulled back to the uh, side of the pitch here by Rafa Benitez, indicating that the substitution is likely to happen now. Drogba, who's onside here, Drogba for Chelsea! He hesitated fatally there for the London club. Joe Cole. Cole rips the ball into the middle. Good Jonsson! Fabulous save! And then the shot by William Gallas is superbly saved again by Jetsy Dudek. There's a double save. He's been outstanding so far today, Dudek. Lovely play from Joe Cole. A few step overs coming up. Great cross to Good Jonsson. First save, superb. Look how quickly he gets up, Dudek. Great save from Gallas. Corner to Chelsea. Away by Jimmy Traore and then by Morientes. Well, Jensi Dudek produced an awful lot of newspaper copy in midweek for his blunder against Bayer Leverkusen. I wonder if he's going to produce a lot more copy today for different reasons. Here's Cole. Lampard. Can Chelsea find a way past the Liverpool goalkeeper? Paolo Ferreira. Barges past Risa. Johnson, who had that header saved brilliantly by Dudek. And one by uh, Luis Garcia. Good Johnson wins it back. Lifted in towards Cole, who's offside. Uh, disappointing from Joe Cole, he shouldn't be offside. Looking right across the line. A lovely little scoop play from Good Johnson. Jetsy Dudek has produced two outstanding saves in the Cup final. Fantastic save. It's how quickly he gets up to make the double save. That's what impresses me. He's very low to his right. Good strong hand, but look at him getting up. So quick to get up. Good second save as well. And with Chelsea so much on top, Liverpool have decided to throw a Spaniard into the works. Exit Harry Kuhl. And he's replaced by Antonio Nunez. 
player who was sent off for elbowing Tony Grant at Burnley in the FA Cup in the third round. Offside here against Luis Garcia. Sent through by my fellow Spaniard, Munoz. Bit tight, might just have been offside, Garcia. Not surprising that Harry Kiel's come off. He's not 100% fit yet, he's only just coming back from injury. No surprise at all that they've made this change. I think it's fair to say Nunez is a much more defensive player than Harry Kuhl. Makaleli swept wide here towards Gallas, who's galloping forward. Nunez. One back by Cole. A really good cup tie now. Dallas chased by Nunez. Eight here's Lampard. The Camley red shirts are back. It's picked up by Steven Gerrard, the Liverpool captain. Nunez. Nunez again. Morientes. Only as far as Gerrard. Oh! Kelly must have felt he'd been hit by a Liverpool bus. Does love them tackles, doesn't he, Steven Gerrard? Sometimes you can actually injure yourself, though. He goes in so hard. There was a crunching tackle on Frank Lampard in the first half. This time, Makaleli looks a bit more like cramp to me than anything. Yeah, it is. Interested to see whether he can run it off. He's, he's so fundamental to Liverpool and what they do as a team. Can't afford him going off the cramp. It can be very, very painful. Who's the master tactician now? Rafa Benitez or Jose Mourinho? Both sets of supporters bellowing out their affection for their team. Chelsea remain a goal down. Makaleli and uh, apologises to Stephen Gerrard for his part in that crunching tackle. I can't believe that Gerrard would limp out of such a high-profile game at such a crucial moment. Well, he wouldn't. There's a tackle. It does land a bit awkwardly. I think it's just a little bit of cramp in that left leg. He'll certainly give him as long as possible. Make sure he's OK to come back on. Looks like the physio's done his job and stretched him and he'll be back on in a minute. Gerrard's back on. Call for Chelsea. A week ago, Chelsea heading for an unbelievable quadruple of League Cup, FA Cup, Champions League, and Premiership. Is this the week when their season came off the rails? Things can change so quickly in football. We saw it in Arsenal last year, they were all just about to win everything. And they got knocked out as well very quickly at the two cup competitions. Is the same going to happen to Chelsea this season? Of course, they still had that return with Barcelona to come. Paolo Ferreira, Makaleli, poor ball intercepted by Gerard, and then Luis Garcia takes over. Lampard, tucked through here towards Drogba. A man, up here, oh dear, this is a bit tight for Liverpool. That's the problem, Centraori just clears it upfield, there's no one there. If they are going to clear it, they've got to get it into Moriente's feet or in his chest. Then he might be able to hold the ball up as it is. It's just all Chelsea. They've certainly raised the tempo in his second half, and they needed to. It was very quiet their performance in the first half. Much better at the start of this second half. Lampard. Wounded by Drogba, who says, carry on threading those passes through the Liverpool defence. We'll get there in the end.
Morientes. 26 here is John Terry. And still has designs of lifting the famous three-handled League Cup. At the end of the day today. To do so, Chelsea will have to score before the 90 minutes are up. Risa. Come on. Try all right. Good idea. Combining uh, with Janana Risa to left backs. Of course, Risa playing on the left hand side of midfield today. I wonder whether Harry Kuehl will be disappointed, played most of the cup final on the right-hand side, but really he was a left-sided player, isn't he? Well, that's right, I think he'd just be uh, happy to get the minutes under his belt when you're coming back from that injury, he's been out a long, long time, you're just happy to play the games, sometimes you have to play 55 minutes, 65, 75, until you can actually play the 90 minutes and get your full fitness, that will come with Harry Kuehl. McElhaney, Terry, Risa Mekalini The initial flush of Chelsea at the start of the second half has just waned slightly I'll Try to pick it up again here Pressurised Liverpool. Here with the defensive header. Luis Garcia breaks here to Haman. Morientes. Luis Garcia. Haman is unmarked down the middle. It's Haman. Petr Cech with an outstanding stop. He's kept Chelsea in the Carling Cup final. Fantastic move. Great save from Cech. Needed to be as well. Great vision from Morientes and Garcia. Hamann's just carried on his run. Doesn't hesitate. Great one-handed save though from Czech. Better Czech. Who has set up this marvellous unbeaten record. Hasn't been beaten uh, in the Premiership now for a couple of months. I think Arsenal were the last team to score against him with that controversial quick-taken free kick by Thierry Henry. Lampard. Goal. Terry flicks it on towards Goodjonson, taken for Jerchi Dudek. Igor Bishkan is ready to enter the fray here. Liverpool's colours. Defensive midfield player. Duff. Paolo Ferreira. Jerzy Dudek and the pressure from Drogba. Lampard. And still Lampard for Chelsea. Back to Paolo Ferreira. Lampard again. Duff. Luis Garcia. With so many Chelsea players committed forward, Liverpool about to see the old counter tackle free. Nunez urged forward by the Liverpool fans here. Gerard. He really got on the shot, probably. No, he didn't. He's worth a strike. He's held the ball up. The Triori is coming off for Liverpool. Risa goes to left back. It's now Luis Garcia playing on the left hand side of midfield. 
And they've just shuffled across a bit. This is a natural left back. Garcia come on to this left hand side of Biscan. I'm sure will be the city midfield player. He'll just sit in front of the back four. He won't go too far forward. If anything, he might free Stevie Gerrard a little bit to get forward. He's going to have to defend more than going forward, that's for sure. Igor Biscan, who won this competition twice with Liverpool. He was a substitute in the 2003 final against Manchester United. And a substitute in this one against Chelsea. But Liverpool have never lost when John Arnarisa has scored and they lead 1-0 here in the Carling Cup final with 67 minutes on the clock. I think he's be, be slightly worried, Mourinho. Where's the goal coming from? Lots and lots of possession. There's Rafa Benitez, I think, would be absolutely delighted with his team's performance so far. Defended really well. Morientes. Remember, another goal for Liverpool now would... Surely, see off Chelsea. Remember, Chelsea are enjoying a greater share of possession, a greater share of domination. Well, they are, but it certainly suits Liverpool because they are very, very effective on the counter attack. Play was very late, but Gudjonsson was offside. Gudjonsson complaining that Liverpool are wasting time. I think I'd be wasting time if there was one up in this uh, situation. But it's all part of the game. It's up to the referee to speed it up if necessary. Liverpool have got every right to take their time. There's Glenn Johnson, excellent young player. Will he come on for Chelsea and give them another option on the right-hand side? Liverpool, the only English club to win in the Champions League this week. Oh, set to have a marvellous week if they can win this competition. Well, here's Duff away from Huppier. Duff's cross, Jetsi Dudek is stretching, and another fine catch by the Polish goalkeeper of Liverpool. Nunez, Bishken. You know, I could imagine Jetsi Dudek winning the Man of the Match award for a second time here. Well, I think he will do if he carries on there he has. Some outstanding saves, very commanding, very confident, and that's good to see as well. Such a nightmare in midweek, that blunder. Got heavily criticised in the British press. He's been outstanding today. Some lovely, lovely saves. And sure he's certainly in the running for the man of the match at the moment. Huppier. Intercepted by Gannis. Bishkin. Nunez. Makaleli picks up the ball here for Chelsea. Drogba, lovely flick on to Gudjonsson, and wide towards Cole, no offside. Drogba, Gudjonsson and Duff all wait for the cross. Nice and easy for Semi Huppier. Marientes beaten by Ricardo Carvalho. Cole. Good Janssen, almost through to Drogba, almost came off. It was the wrong option. Damien Duff was on the right hand side, totally unmarked. You see where he was trying, Good Johnson. Duff would have been clear through with a shot on goal. And then, and Bishkan now, Gerrard's unmarked down the left if he can pick him out. Bishkan goes for glory. And he's going to get a bit of a rollicking here from Stephen Gerrard. He's got his arms up, Stephen Gerrard. He's saying, what are you shooting from there for? Play to your strength, just give it 10, 20 yard pass. He had Nunes on the right, Gerard on the left. He's trying to score from a ridiculous angle. Hello for that. Here's Duff. McAlady. Lampa. Rogba. Good Jons. Gallus Chelsea with all the pressure once again here but there's still a goal down Duff Paolo Ferreira made by Huppier and then Terry 
Terry again. Good Jons. Gallus. Barges over Finn and he's turned the ball back in. Fantastic clearance by Jan Arisa from virtually under his own crossbar. Well, again, I'm not sure it's going in. Was it a foul from Gallus? Shoulder to shoulder, isn't it? Liverpool player goes to ground. Not quite sure it was going in, but Risa had to clear it, and he did very well. Risa ended up in the back of the net, but not the ball. It is a corner kick to Chelsea, which Lampard takes. McElhaney back in. Terry. Terry goes down. Goal kick. That's down at the Chelsea end of the field. The supporters were imploring Steve Bennett to give a penalty kick, but nothing doing. I don't think he was from that. John Terry certainly went down very easily. Gets a touch. Oh, clumsy challenge from Finham, but I don't think it was a penalty. Morientes. Amen. I do feel if Chelsea could find a goal before the 90th minute, they could go on and win this game. They have it by the scruff of its neck, but they just can't find a way past Liverpool. Absolutely yeah. can't. But I also feel that the more the game goes on, the more they've got to push bodies forward, Chelsea, and the more they'll be susceptible to the counter-attack. Nunez. Chelsea trying to lift the pace of the game as each minute ticks by. Cole. The Pavetta to his right. to Luis Garcia, and the man rather clumsily caught there by Paolo Ferreira, who was out of position, knew what he was doing, and Atea Cashman to come on here for Chelsea. Well, Liverpool well, to make a change first, it's Milan Barros, will replace Fernando Morientes. Benos, who was on as a sub in the 2003 final against Manchester United, and rather bizarrely substituted again just before the end. The last throw of the dice here for Chelsea. Kesman on, replacing William Gallas. He's certainly gone for it, hasn't he? Jose Mourinho, three forwards now. Drogba, to Johnson, Kesman, got to go for it. Terry misses out. Nunez in towards Gerrard. Gasp of disappointment. It was an excellent challenge. John Terry is just reading a piece of paper that Jose Mourinho has handed to Kesman, and Kesman's handed on to Terry. Oh, it looked like it should have been a corner to me. Did Gerrard get the ball last? It's not, it's Ferreira. Great defending again, how many times have we said that today? Ball ricochets off Cashman. Carlo Ferreira with a goal-saving tackle on Steven Gerrard. There's been some great defending from both sides. If he hadn't made that contact, Ferreira, Gerrard would easily have scored. It's the Liverpool fans who are suddenly finding their voices now as Drogba turns the ball on here to Cashman. Cleared by Jamie Carrigan. It's Drogba, Cashman and Goodjonsson all now trying to throttle the life out of that Liverpool defence. Joe Cole. Cole's cross. In towards Cashman. Cashman with an overhead kick. And it clears the cross by. Seemed to be impeded just before he tried that. I think he was. I think he might have handled it as well, Cashman. Certainly a good overhead kick. Does he handle this, Cashman? He's under pressure. There's the right arm. It's a definite handball. Wasn't spotted by the referee. A good effort. Chelsea with four up front now. Cole on the right. Duff on the left. Cashman and Drogba between them. With Johnson just behind them. I feel something just has to give. Either Liverpool will score again, 
or Chelsea will find an equaliser. Milan Baros now for Liverpool. Did well to stay on his feet. Bishkamp. Issa won the header. Bishkamp helps it on. Going back to Petr Cech. Man, and Gerard and Biscam, Luis Garcia to defend a 1 0 lead against Chelsea for 90 minutes is worth a cup win, isn't it? Well, it certainly is, especially with the quality of the goal as well. You're quite right, that de defensively, Liverpool have been outstanding. Gerard through to Barros, forced away by Terry, only as far as Nunez. Nunez delivers the cross back in. Luis Garcia arriving. And Paolo Ferreira has to turn the ball out for the corner as the Liverpool fans roar their approval across this huge Millennium Stadium in Cardiff. We're getting more and more chances, Liverpool. Roman Abramovich, the billionaire owner of Chelsea, watching his side a goal down in the Carling Cup final with 13 minutes to go. Gerard will take the corner kick. Easy for better check. Lampard giving the ball to initiate another Chelsea move. Deep Mahaman is uh, in trouble with the referee here. He already has a yellow card in his hand. No complaints about that whatsoever. Well, there was complaints from Chelsea because they had the advantage. Joe Cole wanted to carry on playing, so does Chelsea. Always come back and book the play. I never quite understand why referees do that. Of course, it's a foul, of course, it's a yellow card. But when Chelsea are in, in such a good position, they want to carry on playing. You see, the ball's going to Joe Coles in acres of space. Just carry on playing, come back and book the man later. Paolo Ferreira. It's an own goal. Chelsea are level. Steven Gerrard, of all people. Mr Liverpool gifts Chelsea the equalising goal and the Carling Cup final is right back in the balance. Well, I can't believe that, because it's not even a good free kick from Paolo Ferreira. I think he missed kicks it almost, just played in. And it is, it's Steven Gerrard. It's three Liverpool players gone up for it. Drogba doesn't even put him under pressure. If it was from a forward, you'd say, what a great finish it is. There you go, three Liverpool players, no one talking at all. Disastrous for Liverpool. Joy for Mourinho. And Jose Mourinho is winding up the Liverpool supporters by saying, just close your mouths, it ain't over yet. Oh, we're right back in the balance here. Chelsea won, Liverpool won, ten minutes to go. And extra time looms to settle this first domestic final and Glenn Johnson is about to come on and suddenly Jose Mourinho is the more animated of the two coaches. I think he might need to adjust it now. He might look to take perhaps Drogba off. But Johnson and Kesman have already come on a sub. I don't think you really want three forwards on the pitch now. Drogba's in trouble as I say that. Steven Gerrard who could be wearing the blue of Chelsea next season with such an important goal for Chelsea in Liverpool's colours. It was a freak goal, wasn't it? Absolute freak goal. It's got Chelsea back into it. He won't care, Mourinho. Doesn't matter who scores them, as long as you get back level. Only one Steven Gerrard is a cry from the Chelsea fans. <laughs> <laughs> He's had a good game, Joe Cole. You want to shore it up a little bit. Manager, chance for Glenn Johnson. And Johnson goes to right back. Chelsea resume with a back four. Who's your money on now, Tony? Well, we'll say Chelsea. I think now they've got back into it. It wouldn't surprise me if they actually get one. It looks like Mourinho's been sent off as well. 
it has been a tortuous disciplinary week for Chelsea. A week ago, Cudicini was sent off at Newcastle, Rogba sent off in midweek at Barcelona, and now the manager has been sent from the touchline, I presume, for inciting the Liverpool fans. Well, I think it can only be the goal celebrations, can't it? He doesn't need to do that, Mourinho, I'm surprised he did do it. But if you do do something wrong, you've got to be quite rightly either sent to the stands or go in the dressing room and watch the monitor. That's what's happened. No manager, and he won't be able to take the team talk if it goes to extra time, Gary. For the neutral, it just gets better and better. I think it's been a cracking game. It's a fourth game in a row that a player has been sent off in a match involving uh, Chelsea because right at the start of that run, James Beattie was sent off for Everton against Chelsea. Drogba! Risa. Lupia. Forget that uh, Deep Mahaman could have given Liverpool a 2 0 lead before Chelsea found their rather fortuitous equalising goal. Take it to Chelsea here, which McAlady takes quickly, a little bit too quickly for referees. Maybe. It was the fourth official who made the decision perhaps to call the referees' attention. Phil Crossley was. Absolutely central to that decision. But it would be the fourth official's call because the referee wouldn't have seen it. He's the man nearest to it, the fourth official. Brave decision, but probably the right one. Drogba in towards Good Johnson. It's Lampard. Can Chelsea win it inside the 90 minutes? Lampard for Chelsea, it's Duff, Duff's clean through, and Dudek and Drogba and Duff. What a let off for Liverpool, and Dudek's gone down injured, and Drogba's down injured, and Duff's down injured. This so close to a second Chelsea goal. Another good save from uh, Dudek. He's right on top of him, Damien Duff. He gets injured in the follow up there. I think he's just a little bit too close, Duff. Almost trying to put it through his legs. There's the follow up challenge. Nasty one, he did catch Dudek. Dudek still down. He does not look particularly happy about that challenge. It's a huge red gash down his shin. And all Rafa Benitez's plans to see this game out have gone up in smoke with that incredible own goal by Stevie Gerrard, the Liverpool captain. And this could be an incredible debut for young Scott Carson, a recent arrival from Leeds United. Or have they made the three changes already? I think they have, haven't they, Liverpool? It's a real concern. And it, is it Jamie Carragher who's down as well? He's got cramp in the box. Dudek looks in a lot of trouble. Of course, Liverpool have used all their substitutes and would have to put an outfield player in goal. Well, I think he'd have to continue, won't he, Dudek? Let's see if we can have another look now. See, well, certainly not from the first save, he gets up no problem at all. When Drogba hooks it back, there's Duff. I think he follows through, just catches him on the right shin. I think that's what he's done. That's why Dudek's injured. I think he'll be OK. Just, well, he's got to be OK, hasn't he? Even if he can't move around too much, he's got to strap him up and just get on with it. Gertie Dudek has had a monumental game in Liverpool's colours. I wonder what's going through his mind now. I think he'd be concerned. There's a lot of tired players as well. We've seen Gerard down with cramp. Jamie Carragher went down with cramp. He's got his goalkeeper injured. He'll be extremely worried. And I've got a bit of injury time now, obviously, with this delay. But if it goes to extra time, 
at the moment you can only really see one victor at one victor and that's going to be Chelsea I think this injury is taking place down at the Chelsea end of the ground where the London fans are watching the game and they're merging to deck out but it's a really painful blow to the Polish goalkeeper but it does hurt when you get right down the shins I've had it quite a few times and some lovely defenders are used to mark me it's very very painful sometimes it, you just catch you the shin pad moves out the way which appears to have what, been what happened it's very very painful they look like they've done a good job the medical staff the only thing will be is how mobile is Jersey Dudek when he gets back to his feet we'll, we'll get the answer to that in a minute Dudek is back on his feet. I wouldn't have thought he'd take the goal kick if he's that bad. No one volunteering to help him at the moment, though. I suspect Liverpool feel slightly sorry for themselves. If Liverpool would have changed their goalkeeper if they had a substitution available to them. It would have been an option, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? But, um, sadly, that wasn't the case. Once he used the free subs, Chelsea have used their free subs as well. So, it'll be an interesting extra time if it does go to it. All the tired bodies around. Luis Garcia Moving on towards uh, Banos all the way there by Finnan Duff Terry Chelsea still fighting hard as Good Johnson plays it forward to Keshman. And Keshman tries his luck. Tight angle. Pretty well to get so much power into that shot. It's the only way he would have beaten Dudek. He would have been conscious of that injury. He just got Dudek. Lovely ball from Good Johnson. Very tight angle. Why not have a strike? So if you make the keeper work. You just get the impression that the impetus is very much with Chelsea now. The body language of their players is very different to their Liverpool counterparts. Keshman. Gerard. Beaten off the ball by Makaleli and then Keshman and here's Duff. Duff, it took another deflection, a big deflection too, and Jamie Carragher almost put through his own goal. Well, that would have tested Dudek. It is Jamie Carragher. Could have gone anywhere. It's a good strike from Duff. Off the chest of Carragher. So easy going the back of the net. The blue flag is flying high over Cardiff at the moment as Chelsea tries to snatch this cup inside the regulation 90 minutes. Duff takes it. But Pierre just managed to flick the ball away. Ricardo Carvalho. Six minutes of stoppage time. Makaleli. Hey, by Hupia. Six minutes of stoppage time. Scored half a dozen goals in that. Lampard. Lampard shoots. Oh, that was fizzing close to goal. Great effort from Frank Lampard. Wasn't sure if that took a deflection as well. We've seen him score so many goals from that distance. We don't go to him too quickly. Not sure if it did deflect off Hoopier or not. Good strike from Lampard. No, no deflection. All square in the Carling Cup final. And we're in stoppage time at the end of the game. Good Jans breaks here to Finnan. these teams remember have important Champions League games in midweek but uh, Chelsea had to travel to Spain for theirs Liverpool were at home to Bayer Leverkusen and 
wonder if the exertions of the past week will catch up with the players in extra time, if it is to be extra time at the end of the game. Lewis Garcia. And Johnson. Rogba. Either good Johnson here for Chelsea. To pick out Duff, but Cam was there first for Liverpool. Come out. Lewis Garcia with a poor ball forward to Badosh. And it's Glenn Johnson here for Chelsea. budgeted for the fact this game could go past the 90 minutes oh, but no more substitutions up their sleeve no Chelsea so you know, they just got to get on a bit you know, some tired players I think Liverpool want the, the final whistle to go have a little break Chelsea go Terry launched forward towards Drogba helps it down to Cashman great header by Drogba Duff Ricochet brings the ball to Jitsi Dudek. Stevie Gerrard. The final it has been for him. Bishkan, Luis Garcia. Bishkan again helpful towards Badosh, who's onside. Milan Badosh for Liverpool. Not a bad time to score, was it? Would have been a great time to score. Just his first touch, he just takes it too far away from the goal. Lovely play from Liverpool. Some of their one two plays been excellent. He's not offside. Ferreira plays him on. His first touch, look, just takes him too far away from the goal. That's what makes the angle so acute. Away from the goal, not really going to beat Petr Cech from that angle. Makaleli, Drogba. And it's Duff. Played by Sammy Huppia. Is uh, Finnan. Terry. Makaleli into Drogba. Lampa. Good Jons. Chelsea pressing right to the death here. Extra time is just around the corner though. have a lot of players behind the ball but here's good Jonsson Cashman up towards Drogba made by Risa Terry all the way back to Petr Cech to Chelsea and this could be their last chance to score in the 90 minutes deep into injury time now There's some good quality from Frank Lampard or Damien Duff all the big boys have gone up can Chelsea land one big knockout punch here Lampard takes it comes off Nunez Terry scoops it in. And it's gone straight out for the goal kick. And that could be that. And they really have been put through the full tumult of affections and emotions today. Their team, a goal down inside 60 seconds. And they claw their way back into this game in the most unlikely of fashion. Drogba. It'll be extra time and possibly even penalties to decide the Carling Cup final of 2005. A Steven Gerrard own goal, 11 minutes from the end, the means that the score after 90 minutes of this game is Chelsea 1, Liverpool 1. We'll be back with extra time shortly.
You're saying about Mourinho Khan. I'm all right to talk, aren't I? Yeah. Marine. previous League Cup final here Cardiff's Millennium Stadium has gone to extra time and Liverpool were involved on that day when Liverpool drew 1-1 with Birmingham City and went on to win by five goals to four on penalties Rafa Benitez can give his team talk during this uh, short intermission but not so Jose Mourinho who's been banished to the stands after his sending off towards the end of the game I'm not quite sure how important that will be because I think Benitez does need to reorganise. As for Chelsea, just carry on doing exactly what they was doing towards the end of that second half. It has been all Chelsea. They were the ones creating the, the most chances. I think it's more Benitez that's got to reorganise his team. Perhaps look at it slightly tactically, make a couple of little changes. And they brought on Barros. I think if they can just get Barros with a couple of half chances, he's, he's good enough to, to create uh, a, an opportunity for himself and to take it. And that's what they've got to do, Liverpool. Try and bring Barros into play, get Steven Gerrard on the ball. Chelsea, all you've got to say, whether it's Steven Clark, the, the assistant manager at Chelsea, or, or one of the coaching staff, same again, lads. That's all they've got to say to the Chelsea boys. Do you think Liverpool will try and play out extra time and uh, try and win this one on a penalty shootout? I think that might have to be their tactic. Um, I mean, it has been all Chelsea. They are defending. They've almost been defending since the first sort of two or three minutes since they got that goal. So I think they might have to, it's horrible to say, but sometimes you have to play for penalties. It can often be the best way to actually to win the cup and get that place in Europe. But you'd say that Chelsea were the favourites for extra time? I would say that, only based on what we've seen in the 90 minutes so far. I mean, you mentioned about the travelling, but if anything, Liverpool had a home game. Chelsea have had two very difficult away games in the, uh, during the course of the week. They actually look the fitter and the stronger team at the moment. This could be a pivotal moment in Chelsea's season. Jumped out to the FA Cup last weekend. A disappointing result in the Champions League in midweek. That Steven Gerrard own goal could kickstart their season once again. Liverpool will play from left to right in the first period of stoppage time. Fourth official, Phil Crossley, was the man who sent Jose Mourinho to the stands. And, uh, he'll have to uh, give his version of events, but I suspect it was for incitement. time underway in the Carling Cup final against Chelsea, 1-1 after 90 minutes, and as we've uh, already discovered, no substitutions uh, because both teams have already made their allotted three. Keshman sprinting after this one, Keshman turns Risa in towards Drogba and it's cleared by Jamie Carragher, Glenn Johnson picks it up here for Chelsea, into Keshman, McAlealy chips it in towards Drogba, corner, Two good bits of defending. Secondly from Steve Finner now. Firstly from Jamie Carragher when the initial cross come in. Damien Duff to take the corner kick. It's on Lampard's head. Six is Ricardo Carvalho. Five to aim at, including Grogba. 
Keshman. And it could be a breakaway here with Milan Beros who tread on the ball rather unfortunately for Liverpool. And Chelsea have the impetus again. Duff. Good Jons. Duff. Against the upright by Drogba. What a chance that was. Lovely cross from Damien Duff. A good header from Drogba, does everything right. Oh, I can put it in the back of the net. Has it been given offside? I think so. The flag is up on the far side. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it's for Damien Duff. Drogba certainly couldn't have been offside because the ball was cut back to him. Interesting decision. There's the header. It's a good header back across goal. Also. Didier Drogba sent off midweek in the new camp. Hupia. Luis Garcia. Teresa seems an awful long time now since Risa gave Liverpool the lead. After 44 seconds of this league cap final. And then Barros. No red shirt in the middle. Good play from Barros. He's up there on his own. Couldn't do anything. Not from Tom Winner throw for a corner. And then Barros trying to squeeze the ball past of his countrymen. And the Chelsea goal, Petr Cech, to Czech Republic internationals. Opposite sides. Risa to take the throw. Done by Ricardo Cavallo, who wanted to know why Petr Cech didn't come and claim that one. Not a bad question, to be honest. Lapia. Herman. And Risa floats one across towards Nunez. Piske. Nunez. Much opportunity since he came on Nunes. We need to give him the ball. He's that type of player. We'll make things happen. Steven Gerrard being ironically cheered by the Chelsea fans for his part in that own goal. Gerrard drops it in short here to Finnan. Back to Gerrard again. Finnan. Towards Barros. He just not didn't get a chance to swing at the ball. It's brought clear by Good Johnson. Napal galloping forward here for Chelsea. Cashman calling for the ball on the far side. Oh my. Hello, Ferreira. It's a disappointing play from Frank Lampard. He's got it all wrong in the end, had so many options. Didn't choose one of them though. extra time now without any change in the scoreline. They certainly would. The only thing they can do now is tactical changes, but to tinker with the team a little bit, not do anything else. Luis Garcia, about by Makaleli. Gerard, and out by Glenn Johnson. And by Makaleli, and here's Johnson again. Lampard Makaleli Johnson floating across Cavaya. 
Gideons. Tariq. Lampard. Gideons. And certainly is desert now as when Chelsea were chasing that equalising goal. Very tight indeed, suddenly. Although here's Gudjons. Kept in here towards Duff. And there's Finnin for Gabbani. Two Republic of Ireland internationals. Makaleli. So hard, difficult to control it. Trying to keep getting it out wide to Duff. Kesman who's playing on the right hand side. And then trying to force it through the middle, Chelsea. Come on, come on. Come on. Liverpool just trying to keep it tight here against Chelsea, not provide any weakness to their defence, and they did defend magnificently. 79 minutes to that mistake by Gerard. Oh, Chelsea, that all important goal. It's Gerard helping it forward here to Badosh. Picked up by Terry. Magdalene. Cashman offside. Well, again, he shouldn't be. He's got exactly the same view as the assistant, looking right across the line. No reason to go early. Just wait for the ball to go. Terry charging forward here for Chelsea. Sure he knew what he was doing, but his teammates didn't. Trying to find Drogba. Drogba run the other way, though. Johnson. to pass the ball for the Liverpool team. Lampard just needed a delicate chip and it flew across that Liverpool penalty area. And trying to drive it, Frank Lampard did need the delicate chip. And Abramovich will be a little bit happier now and his uh, image appears on screen and he takes a rather shy ball stare away from the camera. It's all embarrassed, didn't he? He did. Shy and retiring are not two adjectives often applied to Roman Abramovich. Duff. Johnson. Vinan Badosh. This can try to help it through to him. Gerard. It's a well weighted pass to Nunez. Luis Garcia with a chance, rattled into the frame of Glenn Johnson. It was almost a carbon copy of that first Liverpool goal, wasn't it? Lovely ball from Gerard Nunes, picks him out, Garcia. Tries to do a reser. He's on target, it was a good block from Glenn Johnson. Left foot again. Certainly would have given the keeper a problem. And that. It was difficult for Petr Cech, it just bounced right in front of him. It was difficult when the ball dips just in front of the goalkeeper, and his body right behind it. Rogba tries to flick the ball off, Ricochet's here to Risa, Liverpool's goal scorer. Her man, Bishkem. Rafa 
Benitez be smiling at the end of today's high-profile game. I think he will, regardless of the result, because I think he'll be delighted with his team's application, the effort they've put in, defensively been superb, not offered an awful lot going forward at times. Risa with a free kick up to Nunez. They certainly haven't been blown away by this high-profile Chelsea team, have they? No, they haven't. Give a, give a really good account of themselves. I think they perhaps quite fancy their chances if it does go to penalties. Madosh. Duff. Handball, surely, by Drogba. Steve Bennett waves play on. It's Duff. Ferreira. Carvalho. Nakalini. Lampard. Cashman. Oh, almost a fresh air shot. He didn't really get all that at all well. Mind all the goals Cashman scored at PSV Eindhoven. He hasn't really found the groove yet as a Chelsea player. No, he has struggled. He's had chances, certainly in the Premiership games, but it just hasn't happened for him. I think he will get it right, just got to keep believing. Keep having shots on goal. All right, that wasn't the best one. If you don't shoot, you'll never score a goal. Makalev. That was handball by Cashman. <laughs> He's still arguing about it. It was his chest. That was first, that was the handball afterwards. Bishkamp, Risa. Ricardo <laughs> Carvalho with a free kick, so Liverpool inch forward into. Chelsea territory as we head for the end of the first period of extra time. Gerard, Luis Garcia's free here. Chipped up delightfully and headed over the top by Bishkan. What a chance that was. Quite sure what Chelsea are doing. They just didn't pick up Garcia. It's a very early run, you just let him run. Lovely cross as well. There's Biscan, he's up early. He'll try and head it down. I'm sure he's trying to do that. Good chance though. Clear sight of the ball. That's up just a fraction too early. That's why it goes over the bar. Looking for his third winner's medal, Igor Biscan. Inside the final minute of the first period of for time. Ben Johnson. Cashman, that's a good run by Cashman. Drogba wants it. Still Cashman! Tried to help the ball wide of Jersey Dudek and he wasn't too far away. Better effort though, wasn't it, from Cashman? Thing was there's no pace on the shot. Lovely play to go past all the defenders. Comes inside, just no pace on it. And that is the last chance for either of these two teams to score in the first period of extra time. The referee asking the players to turn around immediately without any drinks or refreshments. So we're 15 minutes away from a penalty shootout. The score after the first period of extra time in the Carling Cup final is still 1-1. So here we go for the last period of extra time. Chelsea to restart the game. Ladies and gentlemen, please be aware that during the post-match presentation ceremony, can Chelsea win it from the open play? Exit will remain illuminated. Thank you. Well, 
underway once again. Chelsea won Liverpool. Lampard. Paolo Ferreira now playing at left back. Lampard. Lifted into Cashman. Onto Good Johnson. Barosh. Cashman leads the counter attack. The referee all about the advantage. Why did he hit that? It's Chelsea doing all the pressing. Liverpool just trying to keep them away from their goal. Maybe Liverpool already have one eye on trying to win this one with a penalty shootout. As Lampard takes a free kick in towards Dudek, who has not looked as confident after picking up that injury in the second half. Still a good punch though, it's come quite a long way. No fans on the ball, you can't crash it, make sure you get distance with a punch, he's certainly done that. Johnson to take the threat. In towards Terry, Drogba! Chelsea have the lead! Didier Drogba, the villain of Barcelona in midweek, could well be the hero of Chelsea. Is that the goal to settle the Carling Cup final? Well, I think he'll be the villain in a minute because he'll get a yellow card for taking his shirt off, but he won't care about that. It's a dreadful goal for Liverpool to concede, though. Just straight from a long throw in. He's happy, isn't he, Roman Abramovich? It's basic stuff, the long throw. Just fortunate, it hits Drogba first. And then he's got the simplest of tappings. And they've got to deal with that. Hoopier, Carrigo, they've got to head it away. Hoopier's under pressure from John Terry. He just ducks, I don't know why he ducks. Hits Drogba underneath Dudek. Simple finish. Drogba, I think, has been yellow carded for his celebrations. Taking off his shirt. He won't mind that. He's just scored the potential winner in the Carling Cup final. And Liverpool can forget about a penalty shootout. They've got to find an equalising goal before all that. Didier Drogba, who suffered his first ever defeat. A Chelsea shirt in midweek at Barcelona has given Chelsea an outstanding chance of winning their first piece of silverware. I can confirm that he hasn't been a yellow card in the game, Rob Rock for taking off his shirt. Well, certainly the rule, isn't it? If you take your shirt off and celebrate, you should be booked, so surprising one today. of Chelsea in the summer. Well, there's an argument going on here between Didier Hernan and Frank Lampard. And it's all getting a little bit ugly here. I think Liverpool's frustrations boiled over. And the man has already got a yellow card. And if he gets another yellow here, we could have another sending off. We already had Jose Mourinho said to me, Stands. Hopefully the referee's still better, it'll get on a bit. The man could be in trouble. I think he felt that Chelsea perhaps had taken the free kick. I can't explain otherwise why he would have gone over to try and get the ball. Nakalele, just out of your picture, is hobbling here, claiming that he was stamped on by Dietmar, the man. I think it'll be just a telling off. I don't think Steve Bennett will want to send anyone off in the cup final. You've got it absolutely right there, Tony. Yeah. 
there you go. I mean, it's Cavalio who plays, actually played the ball there. That's what Haman's saying. You've taken the free kick. Terry. Drogba. Free kick to Chelsea. Steve Finney given a ticking off here. Liverpool are clearly rattled, aren't they? But they're frustrated, aren't they? They've defended so well, it was just such a careless goal to give away. And at the moment, real frustration. Lampard to take the free kick for Chelsea, who lead 2-1 in extra time. Misty clear only as far as good Johnson. This has been squeezed over the line, it has. It's a goal, and it's Cashman. He never scores for Chelsea, and he surely has scored the goal, which signifies that the Cup is going to London. It's definitely game over now. Keslin, I'm pleased for him, he's had such a difficult time since he's come to Chelsea. That is the goal that will win the cup for Chelsea. Cannot see Liverpool coming back from 3-1 down. Again, it's a poor goal to concede from Liverpool's point of view. A lot of pace on the free kick. Dudek claps a little bit. Good play from Good Johnson, he doesn't give it up. Was it over the line? That's the big question. It's been a real problem in English football so far this season. Does it go over the line? Yes. I think it did. Yeah, clearly it did. The crutch get a better view from this angle. Good skill from Good Johnson, just fires it back in. It is a good save originally from Dudek, he's off balance. It is over the line. Kesma knows it. Chelsea 3, Liverpool 1. Liverpool need two goals to take this extra time period to a penalty shootout. Gerard. It's right underneath the crossbar, it's got in! That's one of them. It was Nunes, wasn't it? The Spaniard has given Liverpool hope. The ball was right underneath the crossbar. Petr Cech never really came for it. Yellow card here for Damien Duff for taking his protest too far. Well, let's see if we can clear it up. I think it's Nunes. Just goes up in the air. Cech goes for it. He's under pressure from Hoopia and Nunes. Chelsea are saying there's a foul. I don't think there is one. He doesn't get anywhere near it, Petr Cech. And it's Nunes with the header, quite clearly. It's a good header as well, because he's under pressure from the keeper. If anything, it was his own man who got in the way of Petr Cech. Antonio Nunez. Never scored for Liverpool before today. What a time to weigh in with your opening goal for the club. Chelsea 3, Liverpool 2. Well, you see it so often in football, teams score a goal, they just switch off and, and relax, don't concentrate, and can see one about a minute later. Exactly what Chelsea have done, credit to Liverpool, great credit to Liverpool. And it's not over yet, they've got six, seven minutes, and they will pile bodies forward, and they will still fancy their chances of getting a, the equalising goal and taking the match to penalties. Hasn't been a bad match, has it? It's been a cracking match, thoroughly enjoyed it, it's not over yet. It's going to be Chelsea's turn to defend. There appeared to be a handball there by Cashman. Free kick to Liverpool. Marisa. 3 to aim at. Couldn't get it past Johnson. He'll try again here. John Arnorisa to take the throw. For Hoopia on the near post. 
Lupia seemed to be impeded. The man turns it back in, looking for Barros with his back to goal. Chelsea, they should do, got to be professional, get it forward, perhaps try and even keep the ball in the corners, it's not pretty but that's what you've got to do if you want to win a cup. Good yards. Galili, remember Chelsea have the best defensive record in the Premiership this season. Incredibly, they've led in four goals in the last few days. Very much in eight all season in league games. Lampard, good Johnson. Duff. Good Johnson. Chelsea now will do everything they can to frustrate Liverpool at every turn, at every tackle, at every pass. Liverpool just have to get the ball forward now into Chelsea territory. Drogba. This one kept out by Jamie Carragher. And ball. He doesn't think so, does he, Jamie Carragher? Not happy at all. Little hand up on the referee's chest as well. He'll get a yellow card for that. Not for the handball, I think it's what he done afterwards. Carragher told if he takes his protest any further, he'll be off. Certainly given the option by Steve Bennett, wasn't it? And the free kick is being moved forward here, another 10 yards. And that's not for the handle, that was for the descent from Carragher. Of course, this uh, rule change, which is experimental in the English game, is being discussed in Cardiff this weekend. By FIFA, hence Seth Blatter being here. Not a whisper, they're going to stop the experiment. This will just eat up a few more seconds here in Chelsea's favour. <laughs> Lampard will be favourite to strike this one. Chelsea leading 3-2 in extra time. Disappointing from Frank Lampard. Just got underneath it. Slightly leaning back. Chelsea fans have kept the football to try and waste a few more seconds. We'll come back on as soon as the next ball arrives. We'll see it thrown back, no doubt. Or will you? It's a nice present. Yeah, I was just thinking that. There'll be two minutes of stoppage time added on to the last period of extra time. Liverpool have to score in the next three minutes. Otherwise, Chelsea are going home with a cup. Carragher. Terry seems to be fouled there by Badosh. Well, they're running out of time, Liverpool. They need a presence up front. Barros still up there on his own. I must admit, I'd be tempted to put Semi Hoopier up there. A few high balls up there, see if he can win a few knockdowns against John Terry. At the moment, Liverpool sticking with the system, but they're running out of time. Duff taking the ball towards the corner flag to waste a few more seconds. Liverpool launching it forward here towards Barros and Terry. Up here.
Ben Johnson. And it had gone out. Two minutes for Liverpool to rescue this one. It's a big ask against Chelsea. And Sammy Hoopier obviously heard me. He's gone up there now. Can they get the ball to him though? Johnson didn't really meet that header particularly well. It's through to Barosh here. It really is now or never for Liverpool. Chelsea on the verge of taking their first League Cup since 1998. Risa with a long throw. Down by Luis Garcia. Risa, it's a decent cross, a free header, and held on the line by Petr Cech as Bishkan tried to make that dramatic late equaliser. What a finish that would have been. Good header from Bishkan. Problem, problem would have been he would have seen it really, really late because he's gone through a, a lot of bodies. Good save from Czech. Every Chelsea fan urging Steve Bennett to blow the final whistle now. Johnson. About 30 seconds of stoppage time left. Is there time for Liverpool to squeeze the ball back into Chelsea territory? Steve Bennett looks at his watch. Ball launched forward here towards Milan Barros. Carragher, Risa, Luis Garcia. McAlevey mocks up. Hoppia, Gerard. It's all over. Chelsea have won the Carling Cup. The most dramatic of games, the most dramatic of circumstances, and Chelsea's massive investment in this football team has brought its first reward. Chelsea have won the League Cup for the third time. Tell me very briefly your thoughts on the game. Well, I think they deserve to win, Chelsea. It's been a cracking football match. I hope everyone's enjoyed it as much as I have. It's been a great game. Chelsea deserve to win it, I think. So Chelsea triumphant from the Millennium Stadium. It ends here, Chelsea 3, Liverpool 2. Well, it was an extraordinary game of football, wasn't it? It was, fantastic game of football. Lots of good chances, some real quality defending at times as well. But they just kept plugging away, Chelsea, behind for a long, long period in the match. Fought in it when they did get level. I just felt once they did get level, they was always going to go on and win the match, and deservedly so. Chelsea are about to lift their tenth piece of silverware in the club's history. Steven Gerrard handed Chelsea a massive advantage by heading them that own goal with 11 minutes to go. Had that not happened, you feel Liverpool would have hung on. Well, I think they might well have done. Yeah, it was so unfortunate, wasn't it? Just one of those things that happened in football. He wasn't to know Steven Gerrard when the ball's played into the box. You can't just leave it. You've got to get on with it. You've got to try and head the ball clear. That's what he tried to do. But unfortunately, he skimmed off his head into the back of the net. And that's what's let Chelsea back into the match. But you can't blame Steven Gerrard. He's been outstanding for Liverpool this season. How important a moment do you think that is, Tony, in Chelsea's season when Gerrard headed that own goal? Well, I think it could be an important... Uh, point for Chelsea, could be an important point for Steven Gerrard as well, where does his future lie, does his, does his future lie at Chelsea come the end of the season but Chelsea will be pleased, they've won that cup Roman Abramovich will be really really pleased to get that, there's other players in the Chelsea team, the likes of Joe Cole Frank Lampard who haven't won a trophy before they'll be thrilled as well and I'm pleased for people like Kesman been plugging away, hasn't had much luck but to score the winning goal in the final is a great achievement for him when Jose Mourinho arrived at Chelsea, he looked in the dressing room and he said to the players, the English players, what have you won? And the answer was nothing. Exactly. It all changes today. It does. All changes. They always say in football, the hardest trophy is the first one. It always is. Once you get that first trophy, you can build on it. They're now guaranteed for Europe next season. I'm sure they might well be in the Champions League. 
He's allowed back out, which is nice to see, Mourinho. And with the fans chanting his name, Jose Mourinho, who, despite the protocol, sometimes uh, managers who are banished during the game are not allowed back onto the playing area afterwards. And he hardly has trace of emotion on his face, but he'll be delighted. It's a cup final, though, isn't it? There you go. I'm sure, I'm, I thought we'd see a smile sooner or later. But he's been brilliant. He's been a, a real breath of fresh air in English football this season. He's brought them their trophy. And those fans want to see Jose Mourinho, whether he's been sent off or not. The players and the supporters, they want to celebrate with the manager. And I think it's quite right you let him onto the pitch. The game's finished now. Deal with the incident, what happened. We can deal with that later. Let him celebrate now. It's his sixth honour as a coach. And he follows Gerard Houllier and Luca Viali as overseas coaches to win this trophy. And Chelsea maintain their 100% record over Liverpool this season, their third success over the Merseyside club. But it was controversial in a game that had just about everything, a sending off, an own goal, a very, very early goal, a late reply by Liverpool. Can they win another two trophies? Well, I think it's going to be very difficult. It's got the two that are remaining to them now. I'd say perhaps the Premiership is, is going to be the easier one. Got a very crucial game coming up against Barcelona in what ten days' time. But they should win the Premiership. They've got the points in the bag. It's up to everyone to catch them. But it has been a very, very good performance by Chelsea this season. And it's so nice to win the silverware. I was lucky enough to have this feeling back in the year 2000 when I played for Leicester. And to have that feeling of winning the cup, there is nothing better in football than winning your trophy, picking up the medal, receiving the cup and having a good party tonight. And that's what they'll be doing, Chelsea. So Chelsea, who lost their last two games, did not lose three in a row. They're still six points clear in the title race, but what of Steven Gerrard? Where does his future lie? He was hoping to be the winning captain today. And he played such a vital part in Chelsea's success, inadvertently. There's a huge bearing on Liverpool, doesn't it, Steven Gerrard? I mean, they've now not qualified for the UEFA Cup. They've got to try and get in the Champions League for next season, either by their league position or by winning this year's Champions League. I'm not sure whether they can do that. If they don't, Gerrard's future might well lie away from the club. And this is a very sporting moment. Jose Mourinho shaking hands with his uh, opposite number. Good to see this. Well, I've been there. I mentioned about being a winner. I've been a loser as well, and it's horrible. It really is. And it's nice when you see that, the manager going round. Because there's been two teams in this final. It's been an outstanding final, and it's really nice touch to see him doing that. So often they're forgotten, aren't they, the losers? But it takes two teams to make a great game of football, and that's what it's been today. And there is the winning captain, John Cherry, who's been at the club since he was a boy. John's been outstanding this season. He's got better and better. He really has improved, particularly under Jose Mourinho as well. And when you hear Jose Mourinho talking about his leader, that is John Terry. He's such a big part of the Chelsea team. He took Porto to two titles, the Portuguese Cup, the UEFA Cup, and let's not forget the Champions League. And already this season, he has taken a first piece the of silver. Bar Hunter, Martin, an international talent director, Claus Brewers, Wilton, Andy Williamson, director. So they're just about set for the presentation then. And a top year lander, Portia Wood at our BBC Radio 2's Children in Need, have made their way to the podium, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be Steven Gerrard who will lead his uh, Liverpool team forward. I suspect the referee, uh, Steve Bennett, and his uh, assistants will go forward first here. Indeed, that's the case. Four officials, led by Steve Bennett, get the mementos of the big day, first of all. 
the presentation party, Mark Hunter, Andy Williamson, the director of operations at the Football League. Hunter, the marketing and international development manager for Calls Breweries. Handing out the medals, and they are about to get their winners' medals. <laughs> Liverpool, no doubt, will be back the next 18 months competing for the big prizes. Arthur Benitez gets his medal, but he wanted a winner's medal. Well, he did. But I said, he'll be, he'll be pleased with his team. Disappointed they've lost the game, of course you are. But, but pleased with the performance of his players. So the... House lights are dimmed. And very shortly now, Brett Baker from the Football League staff will emerge into the spotlight with the Carling Cup. Brett Baker gets an escort and brings the trophy to the podium. Liverpool and their team can just stand and wonder what if. The time has come to salute the winners of the Carling Cup. The 45th League Cup final has been settled. We can tell you that the Alan Hardacre Man of the Match award has gone to the Chelsea captain, John Terry. You can probably hear John Terry then is the Alan Hardacre Man of the Match. 29th major final to be played here. It's the fifth League Cup final to be staged in Cardiff. It's Cashman who, in the end, scored the winning goal, gets his medal. Better check, he had a couple of big saves to make. Jose Mourinho, sweet and sour moment for him. Banished to the stands. a winner's medal John Terry gets his winner's medal the captain of Chelsea he's been at the club since he was a young boy he must have dreamed about this moment he is the man of the match he's got another trophy to get his hands on very shortly the new era of Chelsea has arrived Chelsea are the Carling Cup winners. Amidst fireworks here at Cardiff, which reach the closed roof, it's Chelsea's day. The Premiership might follow, perhaps even the Champions League, but the first one has been back here for the team from West London. Finally, your thoughts on this one? 
thoroughly deserve to win it, Chelsea. It's been an excellent game of football. Great showpiece for the English game. Great comp contribution from Liverpool. But I think Chelsea just deserve to win it in the end. Great match of football. Some good goals, some good incidents, good defending. Really enjoyed it. Jenny Cotty, many thanks for joining us here at Cardiff's Millennium Stadium. We'll leave you with the victorious Chelsea team. What a cup final it's been. The final score in the 2005 Carling Cup final is Chelsea 3, Liverpool 2. Goodbye.